September through March is full on Iditarod training time. It's cold out, the dogs are working every single day, pulling sleds in snow, resistance, going between nine and 11 miles an hour for mile after mile every single day. But come April through August is the off season. We can't really do a whole lot of training. You have to keep the dogs active to keep them physically healthy and mentally active and happy. But we don't really have a good solution for doing that yet. So far, the most common methods of off-season training are free running, which is great. The dogs go out, they either chase a four-wheeler or you go out with a big pack of them and let them romp around in a meadow. But there's no resistance and they can't really do a big workout because they're not really going anywhere and they get hot. Swimming is a great solution for off-season training because it keeps the dogs cool. But it's not really a realistic exercise like they're going to be doing in the wintertime. Swimming for a dog is not like a person because their head is naturally above the water. So they just kind of doggy paddle along and it's not the best workout in the world. There's also things like pinwheels where you have maybe 10 to 15 dogs going in a big circle around and around. The problems there is that they're always taking a turn. They get hot after not too long of a period of time, but at least they're doing something. They love getting hooked up and they love running. Also, you have hamster wheels. It's like a massive hamster wheel that the dog can hop in or hop out of at will. So they'll get in there and they'll run for a while, but again, they start to get warm and they hop out. None of these methods of off-season training have really fit the bill or solved the problem of keeping the dogs in shape year round. But what if you could actually have your dog continually doing the same training they do in the wintertime, pulling in a harness, being in cooler temperatures, and doing long workouts? What would that do to our race times? What would it change in the actual racing season, the training that we could do if the dogs were already in shape in September? Here at Dallas CV Racing, we found the solutions. This is a refrigerated indoor sled dog training facility. We have a 50 foot treadmill inside that the dogs can run on in harness for a prolonged period of time while keeping the temperatures below 40 degrees. Let's go take a look at it. 